moved over to the cooking section of the show here for Midday. Made with Love, Delectable Edibles joining us. They're going to make something scrumptious. I'm very excited about this. Colin and Alexandra joining us. So tell us, what are we whipping up today? We are doing a marinated veggie salad uh, with a pesto dressing. So something that's really quick, easy to go next to the barbecue. You can make it ahead of time so mm -hmm. it can hang out in the fridge until dinner. And you don't have to do a lot of cooking. I love that, especially if you don't have air conditioning and you're worried about heating up the house. <laughs> this is Absolutely, awesome. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So I guess Alex is um, slicing some carrots. I'm going to start by squeezing a lime into the bowl for a dressing. And we're just going to build the dressing up right in the bowl today. That's and nice and easy. Really easy. So it's just the juice of one lime, mm -hmm. um, olive oil. Um, honey and our pesto garlic. Oh, and I was blend. supposed to do that. I, I was given a job today. Oh, I think you guys you must go. trust me, except I can't get it open. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's all good. Yeah, that's totally it. It is. So all this good. is the pesto garlic spice blend. Yeah. And that guy is a nice sort of herby blend. It's got a little bit of cracked black pepper and natural sea salt, a little bit of raw turbinado sugar for um, sweetness balance. It's a lovely blend, but it's actually a pesto with no nuts and no dairy. So if you have oh. anyone in your life who is vegan or, or sort of focusing on doing something like that, has allergies, this is a really great option for pesto without the dairy and nuts in it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And it keeps in your fridge. I always find if I buy like a little jar of pesto or mm -hmm. if I make pesto, there's a lot and it doesn't keep very long. So this way, it's always dry in the cupboard. You can toss it on chicken or fish or what have you. Okay, that's nice. And you don't have to store this in the fridge though, do you? Yeah, it's no. all dry, it's all good. All dry, mm -hmm. hangs out in the cupboard, always there when you need it. Sounds great. And then what I've done over here is, you don't need a mandolin to do this recipe, but I decided it would be kind of cool to do little match stick pieces of carrot. So I've chopped up one carrot and got these really cute little- It's very cute. Um, slivers per se with the mandolin mm -hmm. those are really handy like um manual food processor really yeah <laughs> <laughs> gives your arms a little workout too <laughs> yeah so this recipe is pretty straightforward it's just the two tablespoons of the pesto garlic one to two tablespoons of honey and the juice of a lime and then three quarters of a cup of olive oil dressing it and then just broccoli um carrots and um Huh, orange or yellow pepper and zucchini. Just like that. Mm. Yeah. And uh, sunflowers as well. And yeah, sunflowers. and sunflowers. Yeah. We're adding the sunflower seed to give kind of a nice toasted flavor. Um, we've got the no salt roasted sunflower seeds today, but if you like a little bit more salt, um, feel free to add the salty ones. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll just give it kind of a, a nice sort of crunchy and nutty sort of toasty flavor. Um, and it'll also give us a protein in here. So if you really don't want to cook, this is your whole dinner in you one. You just do the whole thing. Yeah, yep. totally. I love that. And so how much of the sunflower seeds? I can add that too. Half a cup. Half a cup? Yeah. I can even try that. There you go. So if the three of us were doing this, it wouldn't take us very long at all. No, absolutely. It's not <laughs> going to take us long at all. Yeah, it's a five minute recipe. You do want to let it marinate for one to two hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll really, um, I, when you're marinating, you're basically cooking the vegetables in the oil and mm -hmm. you'll just get, bring all the flavor and soften them up and they'll be that much better. Nice. Want to do a pepper? I would love to do a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so while you guys are cooking that up, we'll put the final touches on this and uh, we'll be back in just a moment here on Midday. As we've been watching that, we've been cooking up a storm here. Well, actually, I was watching them finish up. Made with love, delectable edibles, working on a really great summer salad with Colin and Alexandra, and you're just doing the finishing touches there. Yeah, exactly. So what we've done for the dressing, just to recap for you, it's two tablespoons of the pesto garlic spice blend, mm -hmm. uh, one to two tablespoons of honey. You can really do that to taste. Um, one whole lime um, squeezed, and you do want to use one of these sort of yellowy limes. If Marcel can get a picture up here, um, 
a lime is beautiful and ripe when it has a nice sort of yellow tone to it. So not the dark, dark green. You want it no. a little bit lighter. Okay. Dark green limes are limes that aren't ripe yet. They taste terrible. And most yeah. people who try them go, oh, I don't like limes. So you want to look for these bright sort of yellowy green limes that give you a really nice sort of juice and flavor. Mm -hmm. And you guys really like limes in, in mm -hmm. a lot of yeah. your cooking. You, you yeah. keep bringing them in and I'm like, oh my gosh, that tastes so good. It just, it makes the uh, sort of the flavors pop, it seems like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's all so? about contrast, I think, and having always being able to contrast that sweet and sour. And lime has a bit of sweetness with the sour too, so yeah. it's really, it's a nice, nice, nice balance. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna dive in and taste the salad. It's got zucchini oh, wow. and carrots and broccoli and the sunflower seeds. It it looks absolutely phenomenal. The colors are fantastic. And you were saying it'd be great, like with some barbecue or something. Exactly. Um, Colin has been pretty much barbecuing for us every single night. This is mine. <laughs> Yay, my favorite part. <laughs> because we don't like turning the oven on in the summer. So over the next mm. few weeks, guys, we're going to have mm. a bunch of recipes that are really simple, different sort of cold recipes that you can serve with grilled fish or meat or what have you mm -hmm. and make your life really easy. Yeah. Uh, it's a very light taste, mm -hmm. really light taste, and lots of nice little flavors and stuff, and, and a nice crunch, too, with the sunflower seeds in there. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Just, yeah, the pesto as a, a lemon or lime vinaigrette, really nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, great. And so where uh, are your uh, spices available at? Um, locally, any of the Save On Food stores, um, most Save On Foods in BC carry our products now, um, any of the Cooper's Foods here in Kamloops, and then where else, Colin? Oh, where else? Um, I believe Choices in Vancouver. Um, goodness, there's lots of stores. Oh, um, the Smorgasbord Deli, did you say yeah, that? Yeah, Smorgasbord Deli, Deli here in yeah. Kamloops. Market Locally fresh market foods. fresh foods. Uh, yeah. New Leaf Produce New has Leaf every produce. one of our yeah. 39 products. So yeah, you can get them all around locally or go on our website, madewithlove.ca, mm -hmm. and you can find a list of stores there. And you can also click, join us on Facebook, and start collecting these little recipe cards that we put out each week. Love it. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for my lunch. It's fantastic. Have a wonderful, hot day. Thanks again, you guys, for coming in. We'll see you tomorrow on Midday.